Welcome to Morning Message for May the 11th. When I was in grade nine, I competed in the uh, City of Dartmouth track and field competition for junior high schools. And uh, I represented my school in the shot put. And believe it or not, I uh, came in third. I got a, a bronze medallion uh, for coming in third in the shot put in the track and field competition. In my division, there were three competitors. So I came in third, won a bronze medallion in a competition of shot put where there were three competitors. And believe it or not, I was pretty proud of that medallion that I had gotten. I scored one hat trick in my career as a hockey player in all the years I played hockey. Uh, and I scored frequently enough, but only once did I score a hat trick. In that game, my team lost 13 to three. One year when my dad was coaching a hockey team that I was on, I did everything I could that year to talk him into letting me uh, play goalie. I wanted to try out goalie uh, just once. So there was a game when our goalie couldn't make it and dad agreed to let me uh, be the goalie for that game. And I had a shutout going until the dying seconds of the third period I had a shutout going and the puck was trickling towards me it was not a hard shot at all and somehow it got underneath me and it, it, with less than a minute left in the game uh, the puck uh, trickled into the net and I lost my chance uh, at a shutout. I wasn't too bad at batting either. Uh, you know, when I was a batter playing baseball, I usually uh, had a fairly high uh, batting average. One year, I was almost at 500. So if you know anything about batting, that is exceptionally good uh, to have a batting average in the 400s. That year that I did that, uh, I did not hit a home run. In fact, in all the years I played baseball, I never, ever hit a home run. Well, once in a game, I think the other team didn't show up, so we just had a, a hack-around game with uh, whoever happened to be there, and I scored an inside-the-park home run. But I rather suspect uh, Fergie was the cutoff guy, and I think he knew I'd never hit a home run before, and he kind of... Uh, slowed down his throw to home base and uh, let me score that inside the park home run. So there's just a few stories about uh, about you know accomplishments if uh, if that's what they are, um, and uh, the importance of uh, of participation, of uh, playing along. Um, you know, even though <laughs> you come in third in a three-person uh, competition, you still get your bronze medal. Uh, scripture makes it very clear that, uh, I think it makes it very clear, uh, that it's really not about me getting across the finishing line, although that's an important consideration. It's really about all of us. It's about us working in tandem. I was thinking about three-legged races the other day. One of the the joy is about three-legged races if you've done them at camp, at church camp, or, or uh, at a campfire or whatever. Uh, you know, one of the joys of a, of a three-legged race is to see the team in front fall, you know, because they're running as hard as they can and somehow they get out of sync with one another and they, uh, they trip and fall. And the next team uh, realizes now it has a chance to, to win and they trip and fall. That's sort of the joy of... Uh, uh, of watching a uh, three-legged race. But really the idea is that uh, uh, the two people in a three-legged race um, need to work in tandem uh, with one another, need to work out a way wh where their pace is, uh, is together and then they can, uh, they can win. Um, but it's not really about winning when we talk about the game of life, when we talk about our relationship with God, 
when we talk about Jesus Christ as being our Lord and Savior. Uh, it's really about working in tandem uh, with one another. Uh, that's, I think, what Scripture reminds us again over and over. I mean, God seems to want to relate to us in community. Not so much as individuals, but us as communities. And, um, and, and expects us to work in tandem uh, with uh, one another, to work at a pace. So that it's not about me getting my bronze medallion. It's about all of us crossing that finishing line together all of us being in a relationship with uh, with God and I don't mean that in a forced sort of way but that every one of us has an opportunity to make that choice to be in relationship with God our Creator to accept the salvation that Jesus Christ has won for us to seek an awareness of God's continuing presence in our lives uh, through the Holy Spirit it's not an easy thing but we have one another that we can uh, walk or run in tandem with uh, to help us out uh, and to help us discern those uh, various things. So that's my hope and prayer for everyone today, uh, that you will find some way uh, to walk in tandem with others uh, in this journey of faith uh, that we're all on. God bless. Amen. <laughs>